Hey guys, it's Phaedra from All Things Phaedra and I have purple hair. Specifically, I have purple for brown hair. You might be here because you watched my video on going from brown to purple for brown using the Overtone Deep Conditioner. It's a color depositing conditioner. But you might be here for one of two reasons. Number one, you're thinking about doing it and you wanna know how long it's going to last. Or number two, you've already done it and you're like, oh my God, I've gotta get this out of my hair. So I'm here to show you how long the color is going to last if you have hair like mine. Keep in mind that I have brown hair with blonde highlights. They don't look blonde now. And my experience in the past has been that most of the color will wash out in two weeks. Now, I did use Overtone Ginger and that did not come out for a long time and I had to actually tone it with a blue daily conditioner just to take the orange tint out of it. I've used the Rose Gold and the Rose Gold fades quite a bit after a week and then is almost completely gone after two weeks. We're gonna see what happens with the purple for brown hair. I have fine hair and it's straight hair if that makes a difference to you, but I always use good high quality, salon quality shampoo to make sure it has no sulfates in it, nothing that's gonna naturally fade the color. And for my hair, I typically wash it every one to two days. So it's not so much the length of time as it is the number of washings. Keep in mind, I applied this to dry hair, then I got in the shower, rinsed it out and did one full wash and dry. So technically you could consider this my color after one shampoo. So I'm gonna bring this to you after each shampoo and you can decide how quickly the color fades and maybe that will help make your decision for you. So this is after one shampoo. So today is Tuesday and I did the coloring Saturday. So I've done, it's been a few days, one shampoo. I actually have a little bit of dry shampoo in it right now. And you can see that the color is lightened. Mainly what we've noticed is that my scalp is no longer purple. So any of that staining, that residue is now gone. And the dark parts of my hair aren't quite as dark. And I feel like the highlights are a little more highlighty. So I would say, and when I've used other colors, this is typically my favorite time. After the first one or two shampoos, it looks really good, but. I will keep showing you what it looks like shampoo by shampoo. Hey guys, just a quick check-in on my hair. This has been two shampoos on my hair. Take a look at the coloring. You can see that it's fading, but you can still see it on the ends the most. Not as much up top, but uh, I'm happy with my progression. And I'm back. Same location. Uh, different day because I've washed my hair again. So this is the third shampoo. I'm wearing it straight today so the color may look a little bit different and as you can see in this light I feel like um, it's still overall very dark and the ends are still purple but you can start to see some of the blonde showing through. The color sort of changes over time but still it has been, let's see, last Saturday, today is Friday. You can see a little bit of the blonde shining through here. Three shampoos. I'm gonna keep going, but also know that they sell a daily conditioner. So if you're someone that wants to keep that vibrant color every day, I think what most people do is they do the deep conditioning treatment to give it the color. They do a daily conditioner whenever they shampoo and then they reapply the deep conditioner maybe about once a week. I don't do once a week, I'm maybe like once every two weeks. So we're gonna go two weeks and see how it goes. I'm back, just a quick check-in. I don't know what day it is or how many shampoos. This is four or five maybe. But you can see that my hair is still quite dark. It hasn't gone back to the blonde, but uh, and it does have hints of purple in it. This is more like, um, almost like that pastel purple shade that I was going for before. So the color has not completely washed out. It's still dark up here, but you don't see much of a purple hue here. And I'm gonna let it keep going. Now, if I really wanted that deep purple, I'd probably reapply at this point, but I'm gonna let it keep going so you can see what it looks like after it fades. We'll give it maybe about two weeks. I've returned to the scene of the crime. This is where I first did my hair, and as you can see, the purple is definitely uh, 
I wouldn't say it's gone. I'd say there's a hint of it there, but you can definitely see the blonde starting to peek through. I'm probably going to give it one more shampoo before I repurpleify, but stay tuned because I'm going to tell you what to do when you're ready to be done with your color. Okay guys, this is it. This is the final day, the final shampoo. I thought I could get uh, another day out of my hair, but I think I'm ready. It's been almost two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks since I went purple, and you can see it's faded quite a bit. It's not completely back to its blonde color, its original color, but I wanted to give you a few tips and tricks. So if you get the color in your hair and you don't like it or you want to get it out or you want to get it out quickly, the thing is that it's not the length of time, it's the amount of times that you shampoo your hair. So if you have coarser, drier hair and you don't need to shampoo that often, then your color's gonna last a lot longer. I have fine hair, so I tend to have to shampoo my hair every day or every other day. That makes it fade a little bit quicker. The other thing that I do is when I'm really ready to get the color out, I use a clarifying shampoo. I use a cheap, suave, clarifying shampoo because basically what you're doing is you're drying out your pores, you're getting the color out. And then I use a good conditioner to make sure my hair is in good shape. And that's what I did last night. And believe it or not, I was still getting, I could see in the shampoo that was coming out, there was still a little bit of purple residue in my hair, but I'm ready for the color to come back. You can still see a little bit of the purple in the lavender, but it sort of has a reddish tint now. I'm ready to make it exciting again and start the process all over. And just like that, I'm back and I'm purple again. So keep in mind I used purple for brown hair because I have brown hair. It lightens more in the blonde areas and the more you shampoo your hair, the faster the color is going to wash out. Also, you want to make sure you avoid any shampoos that have sulfates in it. It's bad for your hair in general. It'll dry it out, but it'll also make the color fade faster. So I hope that gives you a little bit about what you need. People talk about using the hair color, but they don't talk about the risk involved. How long is it gonna last? What if I don't like it? How do I get it out of my hair? So that is just to reassure you that it does fade. So thanks for watching. I swear I am going to be going back soon to professionally colored hair, but until then, I'm gonna keep having fun. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like. But I would encourage you to subscribe so you can come back and see more videos just like this or my normal content, which is cars, travel, and entertainment. But whatever it is, I'm always having fun while I'm doing it. Thanks, guys.